This video shows the parts that have been damaged by the heat. I've already seen that during the endoscopic inspection, but to replace them I must disassemble the rocket stove. And first I remove the upper part of the stove. I have to lift it very high to get free from the inner riser pipe. First let's have a look at the riser itself. There is some ashes on the top of the riser, but it still looks good. I see an interesting gradient on the outside. The cause is probably the temperature profile. The lower part is even still shiny. But the riser pipe is all stainless steel. There is some ash collected on the concrete uh, combustion box and on the bottom of the, ca of the case is also some. But the floor pipe connection is free. This is an image of the inside of the top drum. The three rods are to center the riser. To remove the riser, um, I must first disconnect the height adjuster system, first on one side, but the other side must also be connected, disconnected of course. Then I can remove the riser. Now we can clearly see the damage. There is some ash on the vortex blades. But very clearly we can see where the grey shards that I found in the ashes, where they come from. This is the proof, the same sort of rubbish. And you see the secondary air pipe on the right, and it's also damaged, all those the grey stuff on it. is all um, just normal mild steel and it's obvious that it cannot stand the high temperatures that will be there. So I remove it to be replaced by well, sort of the same part, but then from stainless steel. And 
And now we see the pipe for the secondary air. You can remove that. And if I lower it, yes, you can see that where it gets hot, it's damaged. And the front part stays cool, so it looks rather good. And the holes for the secondary air still look good and are open. And now we can do a further inspection of the stainless steel riser pipe. And that looks good. There's no uh, loose parts in it. And you can again see this gradient of colors along the vertical part. And the still shiny lower part. And the inside is oh, beautiful. No soot, no coal, nothing. No gray parts. Just looking good. So I don't have to replace this. So now I'm gonna produce the new parts and some other improvements and I will show that to you in the next video.